Hey everyone, this is Ali and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about a method that I use to achieve my CCNA certification and hopefully it will help someone to achieve their CCNA in 2020. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set your goal for 2020. And we're talking here about the CCNA certification. You need to write that goal down on a piece of paper. I will come back to that piece of paper in a bit. The second thing you need to do is to find the right resources to study for your exam. I used, for example, CBT Nuggets. They're a great resource. They just released their new CCMA certification. And there are many other online resources you can find. You can also support your studying with a physical book so you can read more details in the book. And also, you can use CB uh, Packet Tracer and GNS3 to practice the labs of uh, the networking labs in the course. The third thing you need to do is you need to set your weekly schedule and daily schedule so that you can keep focused on your studying. And I will show you on my screen how I set my daily schedule and weekly schedule to stay focused on my studying and focused on and dedicating a specific time uh, for my study. So on an empty Excel document, you can put the days of the week on the top and the time of the day on the left side here. And let's say you can study CCNA for an hour every morning. In the morning, it's uh, quiet usually. I can focus uh, better in the morning. So it's very recommended to study in the morning. If you can't do it in the morning, any other time of the day is okay. And let's say you need an hour to drive to work and get ready. So let's say this is an hour to go to work. And then, for example, I use my first half an hour at work to uh, practice my Python programming skills. And then here I work until lunch. At lunch, I don't need one hour to eat my food, so I split the lunch in half. I exercise the first half an hour and then I eat lunch. You can eat lunch and read a book, whatever you need to do. For example, lunch and lunch and read. So now you're doing, for example, one, two, three, four productive things in one half a day only. And then you continue work until the end of the day, whatever your whatever your schedule is. Here is a, the, there's a blank spot. You can. Uh, you can say this is for going back home and eating supper. You can do another CCNA session, study session here. And then the rest of the time is family time until uh, you go to sleep. It's very important to uh, have some family time as well. So that you can balance between your studying, working and family. And let's say you can do this on Monday and Tuesday and Thursday. And let's say Wednesday you start work later on at 9 o'clock or so. So let's say this is Wednesday you start here. And this is Friday. Let's say on Wednesday after work you can't study anymore. So you want to spend this whole time with family because you came home uh, late. But in the morning, in the morning you can do two hours of CCNA before you go to work. For example, on Saturday and Sunday, you can at 9.30 or 10 a.m., for example, or whenever you, you can, you can do two hours of studying and on Sunday, two hours of studying. Now you have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten hours of studying other than those in the afternoon. But for example, you can only study in the morning plus those on the weekend. This is ten hours of CCNA study sessions only dedicate for CCNA there shouldn't be anything else going on except studying for CCNA and this is how and you can set your schedule whenever however you feel like uh, whatever your daily things you want to do you can set them here let's say you want to study here uh, some Linux also on Friday some Linux so this is uh, let's say two hours of Linux in the afternoon two hours a week of Linux 10 hours of CCNA um, you have 
half an hour, that's two hours and a half of Python. You can set your daily schedule as such so you can keep focused and uh, finish your studying. So after you set your goal and you find the resources you need to use and you set your schedule, the fourth thing you need to do is put away any distractions or anything that wastes your time on the side while you are studying. Things such as uh, logging out of your social media accounts, uh, putting away the phone or putting it on silent, keeping the video games away, anything that distracts you from that uh, study session, you have to put it away and focus on that, on studying only. The fifth thing I like to do is, on the piece of paper that I wrote my goal down on top, I write those tasks down as, as a question format. I ask, my quest, I ask those questions to myself on a daily basis, either in the morning or the evening. Questions such as, did I study today? Did I exercise? Did I read five pages? Did I meditate or pray? Things that I want to do daily, I ask them to myself so that I can keep myself accountable. Because let's face it, following this schedule 100% is very hard and we're not perfect. The goal here is not to be perfect, the goal here is to form the habit of doing the things you need to do on a daily basis. It's gonna be hard the first one week, the first two weeks, but once you get used to it, and once you start doing those things on a daily basis and you see, start seeing progress, you will keep going step by step until you finish that course, until you prepare for the exam and then pass the exam and achieve your certification or any goal you want to achieve. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know, I hope this benefits someone out there and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you and I will see you again.